Well, welcome. Welcome to the Gypsy and the Witch. This, the theme for April is birdhouses, and uh, I just happened to be looking at some birdhouses online, and I don't know where I got the picture from, and then added it to our group and thought, well, gee, Callie loves birds. Wouldn't that be great if we could do some birdhouses? And you don't have to, you know, build a birdhouse or whatever. I thought even a picture of a birdhouse or anything uh, that you wanted to do that was representing a birdhouse of some kind and I know how Callie uh, how much she loves uh, birds and I thought she'd enjoy seeing all of our creations so mine is kind of a wind chimes uh, sun catcher I don't know and I know she loves all that stuff so um, I made that and uh, it was really fun to make and I uh, loved 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 it and basically thought about her the whole way through so I hope you enjoy this video and um, come and oh and at the bottom of this video I'm going to put the link to Callie's GoFundMe page I don't know how long that's going to be up um, so if you want to go check it out I'll have the link below this video in the description area so uh, that'd be great if you'd go uh, check out that and um, then let's get started okay Okay, so I'm going to attempt to make this birdhouse the way I see it in my mind. Um, I've got, these are, um, what do you call them, stems from beautiful roses that I had gotten for my birthday. Okay, so what I'm trying to think of doing, I don't know if I'm going to hot glue them together and then wrap them. Oh, come on. I hate when that happens. Let me roll up my sleeves because otherwise... Something always gets attached and then moves. So I'm thinking of taking some of my uh, muslin strips that I have, you know, like just pieces of it. Oh, I don't really want to cover. I was thinking about doing it like this. Taking some of my scrap fabric and just wrapping this so it stays together and then maybe hot gluing or something like that so that's that's what I'm thinking of doing <clears throat> and then once I get them I'm going to make you know a kind of a house you know like you make for the um, what's the thing the uh, wind catchers the whatever dream catchers kind of like that but I'm going to wrap this with material so <clears throat> And then kind of make it, I don't know how yet, but kind of make it look like a birdhouse. That's what I'm thinking. And I've got this beautiful sorry ribbon that I think I may wrap too. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to do it. But I'm so glad I dried these rose. You know, not only the rose petals, but the rose. I love these rose um, stems. So that is that is my attempt. So what I'm going to need is you're going to need some kind of twigs. I mean, you don't have to use rose stems. <clears throat> some hot glue, some uh, fabric. Uh, you can do it in strips, whatever you want. Uh, beads, jewels, hanging things, wire. Uh, I don't know quite yet exactly what we're going to need but so we're going to just go along with this and see how this goes so I don't know if I want to wrap it in the muslin or maybe I want to wrap it in the sorry ribbon because this is more this is like very colorful and I think maybe that's what I want to do you know maybe that's what I want to do with that oh let me get that come on guys let's get together here I kind of want to get it all the same. Oh, maybe the this one didn't go with this one. Maybe that one's too long. I'm trying to get them the same, keep them the same kind of length. Yeah, this one is okay with this one. <clears throat> so, so that's what I'm attempting to do right now. Okay, when I come, I'll come back. Hopefully, I'll know what I'm doing. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have no idea what I'm doing, <laughs> but I took them and I oops got some hot glue. I kind of, well, you can see I glued a little bit there too. I try to glue them tightly together and then glue the uh, sorry ribbon around them. I've got to get some of this other sorry ribbon down. It just, 
didn't stay down. Um, so this will be my top where I've got all this sorry ribbon here and I've got it tied up there and glued. So we'll see how this starts to come out. I'm going to have to reinforce, I know, but um, I just thought that's just kind of cool, whatever. So now I have to try to do something and make it into a birdhouse. I guess I could even do more. Where, where did I put those sticks? Oh, did I put the sticks away? Yeah, I did. Um, maybe even, you know, make a, a back and a front and side. That would be kind of really big. I really don't want to do that. So I just want to keep it like this and then hang it from here. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do. Hmm. And I just, at this point, am lost. I like this. I do like it. But I want it to look more like a birdhouse. So, mm, what about if I take some fabric and kind of make it, sew it together and make it like a quilt kind of thing. And then I could quilt on you know, get a piece of fabric, make a door looking thing, and then have like the fabric going this way, and then kind of put it behind this, glue it behind it, and then have, oh, okay, okay, I'm kind of seeing something now. So I just got to get some fabric out and kind of make a, not a quilt, but a, is that what you call that? No, um, like a patchwork kind of thing, I think. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to get my fabric out and uh, what I have and see what I can do and kind of make a square and then cut it, you know, and then cut it so that it goes, it fits this behind because I really want this ribbon to show, the sorry ribbon, so I want kind of put it behind it. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Hmm. All right. Well, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go get some fabrics and then see what I can kind of put together to make something that I like. Be right back. Okay. So, I'm um, thinking about, I've got this felt here. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm just thinking about Callie. <laughs> and wondering what she would have done for this um, theme. I'm sure it would have been amazing. So anyway, I'm just going to cut this and then I'll have a base to sew my um, other fabric on. So uh, so let's just do that. See if I can keep it still, you think? <laughs> and just kind of cut the felt. I love this felt. I bought so much of it at one time and I'm so happy I did. And I don't care if it hangs over because it's got to get it's got to get glued or tied or something onto this. So try to make it a little bit wider. <sighs> okay, so let's just go up this way here. Okay, so I've got, leave that a little bit over there. Okay, and then down here I can just leave it like that. So I only have to cut again this side this side right okay I probably could have just left it as a square too and then just cut it later on but I don't know I'm just kind of doing it this way so 
Okay. I can always trim it later, but at least for now. Oops, sorry, I'm out of frame. I'm sorry. I gotta. I've got to put this computer in a different spot. Well, once I move everything, because I'm gonna have it more towards the front of me, because I have to actually swing my whole body around to see if I'm in frame to look at the computer, and it and I forget. So I apologize. But there we go. So that's what I did. Okay. So I'm gonna take this, and now use this as my pattern and then sew pieces of painted fabric I think because I have that beautiful well fit painted ribbon kind of stuff I think I'm going to do that like I did like I did the little houses um, I think that's what I'm going to do with this and just go out and have fun and and I'll come back okay so this is where I am um, I don't know if you can see hopefully I kind of had to move this up so I have all this extra stuff here because I think what I'll do is I will get some uh, hemp wire and then just tie this on but uh, and I'm just gonna keep going with this and decorating and, and doing stuff to it and then uh, you know make a little door here maybe a little thing for a bird to stick uh, to sit on not that you know a real bird but but you know just just something cool and um, and then I'm thinking I'll hang stuff from this so I can hang this up I can't go outside but it can definitely go inside the cottage so I don't know and I was thinking maybe even getting you know like a little bird and just sticking you know a little fake bird of course and sticking it on there or maybe I'll put some embroidered birds on I don't know I don't know but it's coming along. It's it's not doing too bad right now. So I'm kind of happy with it. I'll be back. Okay, so let me show you where I am at this point right now. Um, I did this. And I just sewed on a backing to it. It needs to be trimmed. But I'm trying to figure out which way I like it. If I like it this way. It went off a little bit so it's a little bit on an angle or do I want it this way just like that and I made this little like I've got to finish embellishing it but I thought you know I'd make a little once I get that on and then I glue this on here but now I can glue this on, hot glue it, and then I was thinking of stitching it, you know, with, um, I really don't know with what, some kind of floss, I would imagine. I guess I could use the same stuff that the, the uh, wax linen that I use for the journals, I guess I could do that. Um, so I want it to be on there, but I'm just trying to think of which which side I want, how I want this to go. Hmm. I just don't know. I'm trying to look at the camera, the picture on the video, on the computer, sorry, and see how it looks because the way I'm looking at it so it's not it's like I'm not on it on top of it I'm coming at it from that kind of looks good like that I think I think that one yeah I think that one that one looks the best I think so that so I'm gonna glue it and then uh, sew it on there and then I will be right back okay so this is what I've done so far I have wrapped it uh, sewn it with the um, linen wax linen thread and then I am get some of the stuff out of the way and I made the little doorway here kind of funky with some of the um, 
sorry ribbon and I added some more uh, of those stems and just glued this on. So I'm probably going to glue this back too so it stays otherwise it'll be you know kind of hanging there. But um, I'm thinking I want to put something in here that looks like kind of grass coming out or, or straw coming out of this here. And then hang some jewels down from here and maybe put some funky things all around. I kind of want to make it busy like it's a gypsy bird house, right? The gypsy bird resides here. So um, I just want to add some beads and so on. Some, And that's the back there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's just, just kind of glued and sewn on there. So I think that looks really cool. I just got a lot of other little things I want to do to it. So, you know, and adding little snippets and stuff like that and other kinds of little snippets all around. I don't know. I got to think about it. But that's where I am right now and I'm trying to starting to warm up to it. So, um, I think it's kind of cute. And I was thinking of maybe putting like a across the top, but I don't know if that I don't know if I like that. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll put something there and hang more stuff there and stuff down there. Who knows how crazy it will get, right? So I'll be right back. Okay, so I had to look back because I couldn't remember where I left off. Uh, goodness, I guess I didn't show you the buttons yet. So this is the buttons. I just put a whole mess of buttons. I hack glued them on. <laughs> I just thought have some fun some buttons on there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the hanging things I don't know if you guys saw my video when I did the um I don't know it was a woodland hanging I have it in my kitchen um I'll put the video at the end if you haven't seen that one where I used um corks these are not the ones that I really wanted to use I wanted the other ones you know the old kind of look one these are like spongy I don't know they're soft and I don't know what they make these out of, but I like the older cork looking things. But I can't find my bag. I can only find this bag. So I'm using this. So what I did is I just put some wire in the ends, poked a hole. Um, yeah, these are not as dense as these are easier to poke holes in. I just took one of these things and just poked a hole in it and put the wire in there. Now you can glue it if you want to make it where they're in there pretty some of them are in really tight some of them need to be have a little yeah, like that one that needs to have a little glue so what I'll do is I'll put some glue on there and then put it back in there and it'll stay in there and then I'll dangle these down with beads and stuff I like that look and paint on them I haven't had my paints out in a while so because I've been working with so much material and stuff I didn't want to have the paint out while I was doing the journals and the pouches and stuff so I'll get a little paint out and I'll draw some pictures and some of these have like grapes on them so maybe I'll just color those in look at this one. Oh, that's the same one ah and then some of them just have words and stuff this one has nothing so I'll just draw some pictures maybe of some birds and little bird houses and stuff like that and see how that look and then add some beading to it and then I'll hang them and it's funny I had to watch my old video to see how the heck I did these because I couldn't remember and then I have some hemp cord I don't have a lot left I may have to get more I have some hemp cord to tie them I wonder if I have another package of this that I forgot about I have to go look so I will do that and then I'm thinking about I would like I wish I had like two little birds that I could put there so I have to see how I'm going to do that, and um, that, this this cool thing, I like that button, I put that button somewhere, and then maybe I'm going to sew some beads on and stuff too, and I still haven't glued this, I'm going to glue that to that. So we'll see. It's coming along, you know, getting ideas here and there and everywhere. So I will be right back. Okay, so I'm going crazy. And I'm trying to get this figured out. So, 
Okay, so I've got I did the corks. Yeah, you know, see if I can let me see if I can raise the camera. There we go. Let's see. Camera keeps falling down, but that's that's what I've got so far. So I did some corks, just painted them, uh, splashing color on them. I wrote words like love, peace, uh, shine, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. You know, so I have secret little words on there. So that's what I'm doing now. So I'm, I'm going to keep beating these uh, and make hanging, dangling things. And then I'll probably be sewing also some uh, more beads and things in here. And uh, I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to come back, at what point. Because I get involved and then I forget to, to do a video on it. So, but that's where I am. All right, let's move that up there so you can see that better. I put little bird houses on them, just some funky little things, you know, nothing, nothing made, you know, it'd be cool too if you have like stickers and stuff, that wouldn't be bad to put on the corks and things, and I put in my paper beads that I've made, and some that have been sent to me, and some other beads that have been sent to me, I mean, I just, you know, been just using up stuff, I think it's like so cool. I think it's coming along so be nice I'm trying to put uh, some clear glass beads too because you know I like when the Sun catches them so if I have this in the window in the cottage um, you know it'll catch the light and stuff like that so I just I just think this is really pretty I'm cold down here today I've got my heater on I didn't put the stove on because that uses so much wood and I'm you know it's really not that cold but cold enough to put my little heater on. It's warmer out than it is in here. Isn't that weird? Oh, I know what I want to show you. Look, I have little number things. I think those are, oh, what's his name? Tim, uh, Tim Holtz. I used them in a picture that I did of houses, and I used them for the, the door, you know, above the door. Give the house. I think, I think I have more left, though. I don't think this is the only one. This one says 63. So... That's it, and I'm just going to keep going with this. Keeps my mind off of stuff, you know, when you're doing this. I don't know how people do the beading all the time because it drives me crazy at some points, trying to get the little beads on things. So you guys who do bead work, bless your hearts. You guys are amazing. So, okay, that's it for now. I'll be back. Okay, let me just see if I can get this moved around. Okay, so this is how it's looking. It really wound up getting filled and filled and filled. And um, lots of beads. I'll hang it up and get a picture of it, but you can see it's got tons of beads hanging from it. And all these beads are from different people. I mean, myself and from friends that have sent me happy mail. So I've got all these beautiful... Uh, beads and things here. Gosh, this I can't wait till I get a better setup back in there. Now that's a little better. It's just that it's on a light and it and it moves. It's heavier than the little light thing, and then it starts to come down, and then it gets so close that you can't see anything. So you can see all the charms. There's tons of charms and beads and the and all the uh, corks. So it really looks cool. So that, and I just incorporated a lot of things from different friends that have sent me happy mail. And then this is a oh a clay heart that I made a long time ago. And I had that and I thought, you know, this is a gypsy bird. So she's got some beads in there and some cloth and some twigs from outside. And then I put this little thing here to make it, you know, her curtains hanging down here and got a little um charm of a what is that a dragonfly oh i have glue all on my hands sorry guys but that's the way it goes right and then i put oh come on Ugh. i don't know how i just do that with all that glue and then i i sewed some beads on here some beads dangling here with the heart charm this is actually this is a piece of um, this beautiful 
like candle holder that Callie had sent me and I just took one of the <laughs> beads and I don't have it up yet um, it's gonna go up in the cottage and it's 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 I showed it once gosh years ago when she had sent it to me for my birthday one year and it's just beautiful and it has all these beads so I thought you know what? I'm gonna take one of them and put it on here and then this is an old crown that I made out of clay I mean years ago for some project that I was doing and then I went out in the yard and got some twigs and some some dead grass or whatever that is so I think that looks cool and that just oh and uh, Inez sent me a couple of these butterflies because I had been talking to her and said you know I think I'm gonna put some birds and butterflies and she was telling me where to go get them at the dollar store not knowing she didn't want to tell me that she had already sent me some butterflies even before we talked so isn't that cool talk about right soul sisters so I'm painting one I painted it white I spray painted it and I think I'm gonna make it purpley I'm gonna do something funky with it so we'll see how that comes out um, I just thought I'm gonna just you know embellish it in some way I don't know yet but it is I just painted it white I did a white coat on it it's outside drying and we'll see how that works out and I really would like to get some little birds so I gotta see where I can get those I looked online I didn't really see anything cool so I'm gonna go to the dollar store tomorrow and see if I can find something there even if I have to repaint it at least you know because it really doesn't I don't really want a big bird I want like a like a couple of little birds so we'll see but I think that's cool and the beads hanging here huh to the doorway because this is a gypsy bird right yes so she's a boho whoever she is and I just love this so I will take a picture of it hanging up so you can see it when it's done and uh, get the butterfly on it and, and the birds okay and I'm going to do um, a recording of it hanging, but I just wanted to, you know, it's pretty much done now. And there's the butterfly. And um, I had such a hard time, I cannot find birds. I don't know how many times I've been to a store and seen little, little feathery fake birds. Can't find any. I went to every dollar store around me. I went to uh, Walmart, Target. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, be, not Best Buy, um, Big Lots, um, nothing. I cannot find, cannot find one. So, uh, I don't know, whenever I find it, I'll add it. But for now, there's no birds. But I have this beautiful butterfly here. And you can see I, I put beads and things on. I may embellish it a little bit more, I don't know. But um, purple, um, you know, and thinking of this, uh, where I took this bead, off of that little candle thing that uh, Callie sent me. It's really pretty. It's a hanging thing. If I can find the video that where I showed that, I'll put it at the bottom here. But she had gotten it. I can't remember where she had found that. I, I can't even remember. But she had, we were talking, uh, you know, we always video chatted. And she said she had something, you know, and because I'm born in February, my color has always been purple amethyst you know that and then she loves purple so she's like I can't keep it I have to give it to you so she mailed it to me and I love it and um, you know I had it in the other house uh, in Daytona I had it in my studio too hanging up so in this one it's gonna go in the cottage but I just love this I had to steal I have to see what it looks like if, if it looks like it's missing something then maybe I have to put this back but I just wanted it to be on this particular project because I thought so much about Callie while I was doing this and you know Callie did this kind of thing I've got to find that video I remember her doing um, oh, it was a uh, Gosh, I, I'm pretty sure she did one like this. Only, you know, it wasn't all the stuff in the middle. It was, uh, I can't remember. But I know she did something like this. So I'm going to find it and I'll put that too on the bottom. And, you know, she loved doing, she loves doing wind chimes and uh, sun catchers and all that stuff. So I can't even imagine what she would have done 
for this project. It would have been amazing, I know, with her imagination and her hippiness and her witchy gypsy, you know. So one day, when I find the birds, what I was thinking of is I could put two little birds here and it'd be the gypsy and the witch, right? And um, I so much wish that I could have met her uh, in person, but we did. We had a lot of fun, guys, on, thank goodness, for the internet and the video chatting and all that stuff because we had a blast and we would talk for hours I mean sometimes four hours and just laugh and we enjoy this gypsy and witch so much and when we were putting it together and trying to figure out you know what pictures we wanted to use for the banner and all that stuff that was a riot I mean we just really had a lot of fun and I love every minute, and I will cherish every minute that I spent with Callie. I'm sorry, guys. All our laughing, and one day we were going to meet, and especially with her, her girls living in North Carolina, she had, you know, she was going to go down and see them. And I thought, well, we can meet there, you know, I'd get to meet her. And, down there and um but who knows we'll meet again hopefully hopefully we'll connect in another adventure our next journey so i just uh thought about her the whole way through and i'm sorry if i get a little emotional but it's really hard and i'm just grateful that she has wonderful wonderful loving family i mean thank goodness I mean she does between Tom and her kids and her grandkids and all her friends that live there uh, near her that see her all the time I mean they're just well I love you Callie and uh, again guys I'm going to put the link to the GoFundMe page I don't know if it you know how long that's going to be up but you know, you can go check it out, and if you want to donate, if you want to leave a message uh, for her, if you want to pray for her, send her light, send her blessings. Um, if we get an update, you know, I would just keep checking the GoFundMe page. I think that's where her daughters will wind up updating, or if you're her Facebook friend, you can check that out um, and just pray for her. That's all we can do, and um, just pray for her and her family and her close friends and Tom, who loves her so much, um, to get through all this. And I love you guys, and um, I thank you so much for being here. And Callie and I have had the best time with the Gypsy and the Witch. Uh, I still have the group open. I, you know, I don't know, I don't know at this point, but right now it's, it, I'm keeping it open because I know there's just so much love there that I don't, I'm, I don't know what I, you know, would do without you guys there. I mean, it's just so hard and, and we all love Callie and we all love each other and it's been the most wonderful journey the last few years we started that in 2015 and um, it just with all the love that we put into it and all the love that we share there I don't know if I could take it down so for right now I'm just gonna keep it as it is and I uh, love you guys and I will put links below to some of her videos because I'm sure there was a video with something like this I not exactly like but with the wood like that so I have to find that one and I'll put that there and then I'll put the video with the with the corks that I made the last time and it's so cute the little corks with the houses so that's that we could see that a little better and then I'll put a um, pictures at the end of the of this so you can see this 
a little bit better and how it looks outside and all that stuff. So I didn't put any birds on here. I'm no I'm annoyed that I can't find birds, but <laughs> I will. I will not forget. And you know, I'll be shopping one day and all of a sudden there'll be birds. My poor grandson, he's been he's been going around with me trying to find these birds. Uh so I'll find them. One day I'll find them and then when I do, all I have to do is just put them right up there and I'm going to try to make the gypsy and the witch. Wouldn't it be nice two purple birds like with different, I don't know, with different jewels on them maybe. Well, my plan was to get the birds and then paint them and color them because, you know, usually they're in like, you know, yellows and reds and stuff. Not I wanted purple. So I mean, unless I could find a purple bird and that was my plan and then put jewels and stuff on them. So we'll see. One day I'll find the birds and they will have a home on my my bird house and I can't wait to see everybody's creations yes that's what I wanted to say I hope you guys that are in the gypsy and the witch have done the theme and you're doing something I know some ladies had started already so I just can't wait to see you guys creations so I love you and until the next time bless your hearts and let's bless Callie and send light and happiness and to all of you I love you and uh, blessings of love and peace to you all. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.